and we are live good morning crypto warriors and welcome back to gemini crypto episode 665 today is friday february 19 2021 and i'm king here to bridge the gap between the community and crypto every day monday through friday and today's top stories north america's first bitcoin etf hits 165 million dollars trade volume in the first day crypto is poor as hedge for drawdowns and equities uh, JP Morgan analysts say 99 Bitcoins breathes new life into dead coins project Gene Simmons says he added three hundred thousand dollars for Cardano to his bags a coin rolled out two billion dollar medical metropolis in Kenya and last but not least Portuguese uh, power company to set Bitcoin for electricity bills uh, but first and foremost of course we have to look at these prices today oh my goodness i know you all saw the price movement yesterday uh a few different coins did a few different things uh a lot of green going on let me say hello to some of the crypto warriors today what's going on madam crypto lisa lee tessa leroy forbes candace blannon marcellus love blues lover tony nolly gracie ruben perez uh lego my ego timothy grisby patrick walker t will line man for hire crypto culture what's going on Les square robert kelly ruben m perez ron oh hello hello all oh, make sure you smash that like and share real quick yes about the sunday show that we are starting uh bitcoin zay is right now running around taking care of business so waiting to hear back from him so just make sure you uh paying attention to our twitter and notifications we will post that uh when we get more information oh patrick walker what up no you already know yemi oh the sugar honey i see hello 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 okay let's talk about these prices bitcoin is coming in hot it says fifty two thousand nine hundred and sixty four thousand on coindesk but listen we just have to give it to bitcoin across most exchanges it did hit the fifty three thousand dollar mark plus so bitcoin coming in today let's say hot at fifty three thousand dollars flat up 2.21 percent on the 24-hour cycle ethereum's at 1919 dollars and 28 cent up 0.28 percent ripple is at 55 cent up three dollars or 3.55 percent stellar's at 50 percent up 1.98 percent chain link at 34.12 up 4.43 percent cardano at 91 cent down uh, about two percent let's see we have bcash up 1.83 percent and another eos is up seven percent at five dollars and 14 cents but of course uh one of the biggest ones we have to talk about which for every reason is not on coindesk um is bnb right we talked about bnb coin i think yesterday on the show uh bnb coin was trading at about 160 dollars 140 dollars yesterday this time in the morning and of course if you were watching it overnight i literally watched it uh go from that 160 to 190 and teeter between 190 to 198 it blew past 200 when it finally hit it i think around uh i would say around what 10 p.m 11 p.m last night pacific time uh it started to blow past 200 by 2 a.m uh it was blowing past uh 250 and then again i woke up this morning to see bnb coin number three on the top 10 coins at 324 dollars up 68.61 percent in the last 24 hours let me say that again binance coin is up 68 percent up 65 you saw how quick that happened right some of you are waking up this morning buying the top as i read the news but it's up 65 percent in the last 24 hours seven days is up 144 percent and oh by the way as we keep trying to tell you these top 10 coins keep shuffling right binance is number three you got polka dot coming in at number five cardano at number six ripple at number seven now uh, Litecoin at eight, Chainlink at nine, and B Cash at ten with Stellar right on the outside of that. So again, um, we talked about this time at the time, and Binance Coin is the hot thing right now. Everyone wants to use that new Binance uh, chain, uh, you know, instead of Ethereum because of gas fees. They have their in-house token. It has exploded. I think in the last year, it's up over a thousand percent, as most coins are. Uh, as far as the prices for today most altcoins are teetering in that green of two to three to four percent so not a lot of big gains uh so for the trading side of the house people have to decide do they want to sit and wait for that altcoin bag to come back or do they want uh to get these gains back in bitcoin and possibly be in bitcoin even though that pump i said yesterday i felt like it was too late yesterday but uh time showed that that was a lie 
Uh, so different things to think about as traders, if you're an investor, whatever you're in, just kind of stay in right now because what could happen is you could lose money trying to chase the bag. Um, again, uh, all coins traditionally don't pair well against Bitcoin. When Bitcoin is pumping, all coins are usually going down. Uh, so this is an example of us seeing that. And that's why we say Bitcoin, all coin pairings, Bitcoin is still up over time. This is a perfect example. If you have been all coins the last 48 hours and you've been losing money in the all coin market, the price of Bitcoin has increased. So that's what we mean by you might be making more money in dollar value, but you're not actually making more Bitcoin because when you buy back into it again, you're buying back into it. What a few days ago was at 48,000. Now we're looking at 53,000. So you're looking at a higher Bitcoin price. And oh, by the way, at the same time, the altcoins have not been pumping for the most part. Uh, I did see some altcoins last night. Yes, I saw a few of the ones do the uh, uh, go up 80%. Some went up 70% last night. But as we say, how liquid are those coins? Because I'll have you know, one of them, uh, it, it was not very liquid last night. I won't say the coin wasn't liquid, but no one was allowing you to buy or sell it. So uh, a lot of these exchanges and people are up to their old tricks. Nothing to be alarmed about there. Oh, Anytime Fitness Monarchs Corner Staff. Uh, I might have said that last one wrong. Anytime Fitness Monarchs Corner Staff, in your opinion, what would happen to GBTC share price if it became an ETF? You know what? I'm going to talk about it in a second. Thank you for the tip. Um, as I bring up the top story, I actually was going to bring up Grayscale's Bitcoin share price as well as the overall price of Bitcoin. Excuse me. Top story of the day, North America's first Bitcoin ETF hits $165 million trade volume in first day. That is right. Uh, for those who don't know, uh, Canada has two Bitcoin ETFs, right? It's happening. I do like how this article call it the North American one instead of the ca uh, Canadian one. That way it can make uh, American uh, investors and traders feel like we're part of this ETF as well, even though we are not. But the fund has experienced a flurry of demand where trade values hit well above the country's typical day one ETF threshold. Um, something we've seen in all of crypto. Nothing, their day, our day ones and our percentage swings and what we consider money isn't the same as a traditional system. In fact, I would almost compare it to what billionaires experience, right? Like that is what we see in this. You know, a billionaire doesn't, you know, 2%, what? Like wake me up when, when I made some real money today, right? Make, make, wake me up when the market really moved. I think we're all the same way in the cryptocurrency. Like I said, today, uh, all coins are up 2%. This is a traditional market. People would be ecstatic. All right, my portfolio went up another 2% in one day or whatever. Uh, we're not that happy in the crypto space. We're like, 2%? Binance is over here doing 65%. Why can I not at least get 20 to 30 off of this project, right? Uh, so that is how people feel about crypto. And I say that because, again, it said that this ETF did well above the country's typical day one i think whenever you have anything with cryptocurrency blockchain bitcoin anything associated with it you should automatically assume that it will do a parabolic day one i don't i don't think anything in the crypto space has really launched uh where the day one isn't full of excitement so uh, i want to throw that out there something to always think about moving forward again as a trader you know that first day uh, the price is going to be high as the sales start happening but the first publicly traded bitcoin exchange Traded fund in North America came out swinging on Thursday, its first day of trading. About $165 million worth of shares of the newly minted ETF changed investor hands in less than a day. Uh, the fund, which is managed by Canada based Purpose Investments, has experienced a flurry of demand where trade volumes hit well above the country's typical day one ETF threshold. Now, again, this is important because you better believe the United States is looking at this rollout. They want to know how it's rolled out what's the numbers involved right uh for the government we're all about our money they want to know is it worth it to finally do this if you don't know about bitcoin etfs in the united states all you need to know is that the sec and every other federal agency has not been taking applications for what i've been told literally is that they take the application and they ball it up and toss it in the trash like they're shooting a shot all right like they have not been paying attention to Bitcoin ETS, which by the way is doing us a disservice, but that's a whole nother topic. Uh, but again, the one in North America, the one in Canada, uh, start off the first day with $165 million in trade volume. What does this say? This says that the market for ETFs are there. People want to diversify with ETFs as a derivative. 
instead of for whatever reason buying Bitcoin. I have no clue why. I have no clue why except for the fact that this is the way it's always been done. And since there's so many new people into crypto, they don't understand they could just buy Bitcoin themselves. It's almost like they're being tricked. And for some people, I can see this for uh, retirement portfolios and other type of investing portfolios. I could see why they may want to be more risk averse uh, instead of buying the actual asset, which they consider highly volatile, they might want to ETF instead. To me, it doesn't make sense because it's the same as when the dollar came out and we had gold and everyone was looking around like, why do you want to use a dollar when we can just keep using the gold or a gold backed dollar, right? When we gave, came off the gold standard. So I look at this the same way. Uh, to answer your question, as far as uh, Anytime Fitness said, what would happen to uh, Grayscale Bitcoin share price if it became an ETF? I mean, we have to be honest, not just the, uh, the GBTC share price, but Bitcoin price as a whole. These are the things I don't think people are thinking about when we say this is going to go up to half a million dollars and just stay there. OK, if it goes up to half a million dollars and we do a Bitcoin ETF, would it really stay a half a million dollars? I don't know. Uh, I find it kind of hard to believe because you have to remember this is a way of diluting the underlying asset. Will it bring more attention to it? Yes. Will it bring mainstream adoption to it? Yes. Uh, will you have to buy more of it uh, on the institutional side? Yes. So those over-the-counter trades would still uh, continuously increase, right? So it might not be as many investors or people buying Bitcoin, but the amount of Bitcoin bought would still increase, right? Yes, 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 yes to all of it. However, you will have a different person holding it. Instead of it being held by a lot of individuals, it will start being held by a lot of companies, which, by the way, those people in those companies only own ETFs. Um, again, I think it's going to be a big cluster when this thing does happen. Um, I think the share, I think all, including the GPTC share price and Bitcoin as an overall, I think initially it may decline only because everyone's putting their money in other things but crypto initially. Uh, long term, I think it'll still continue to pump. Uh, so to answer that question, I think the GBTC share price will continue to pump if it became an ETF or if they started to do anything in the ETF space. But I think initially it would take a hit because that market will be making that money. It's kind of like NFTs right now in the DeFi market, right? Some of those markets are taking away from the price of Bitcoin, but the entire market as a whole is, is doing better. So I think the same thing will happen. It might take away from the price of Bitcoin initially, but uh in the long run it will bring more attention to it so that should be a good thing let's see crypto culture said y'all still cashing bags for real still lol uh no no i wish we were right fcv3 grand rising did i finally make it to the live stream you did welcome 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 uh it said bitcoin about to crush fifty three thousand dollars you already know it what's going on will 45 what's up what's up what's up Erica K said 2% versus 300% Bitcoin. Uh, child, I don't want no funky 2%. Exactly, right? We, we don't even understand those numbers in this space. But these are the numbers the people who are pushing for Bitcoin ETFs do understand. I think this is why they want the ETF people. You have to, like, to me, the way I look at the Bitcoin ETF, the derivative upon it, the derivative, is that if I can sell, let's just use Americans. If I can sell the American who doesn't know that much about crypto, and I fudded them out of buying themselves. They think the price is too high. They don't know you can buy Satoshis, whatever. If they're so scared of crypto, I can have them pay me the price they would for Bitcoin for a piece of paper saying that this is their representation of Bitcoin. And I actually buy the Bitcoin with their money. And as like financial institutions and banks, which we know, fractional reserve banking, they use your money to invest and spend in different ways. That's not going to stop. Uh, what happens when they 300, 400% that, and then you just have this Bitcoin ETF derivative. The amount they give back to you and the amount they make will be entirely different, which is why I think so many companies want this Bitcoin ETF down the line. But uh, also, of course, this is, you know, ETFs are directed at a lot of retail investors versus the institutions. So we shall see. BlackRock XR people uh, said the U.S. is losing the fourth industrial revolution. Great point. Are we in the fourth industrial revolution, the digital revolution, right? Uh, Internet 3.0. Uh, Erica K said the U.S. will lose money if they accept ETF. Woo. All right. What's going on, P-Man Van? Ryan James. Eddie Griffin has a couple of videos. Okay. On Bitcoin, Doge, and Rip on YouTube. Are you talking about, I'm not, I know you're not talking about Eddie Griffin, the comedian. 
Let me know, Ryan James, you're talking about Eddie Griffin, the comedian, with crypto videos. That would be a LOL if that's who you're talking about. What's going on? Ruben Perez said, ETF could increase demand for scarce Bitcoin. Great point there as well. Maybe that happens. People start buying up ETF so much, institutions have to buy up Bitcoin so much, it becomes even more scarce and the price and the demand rises. That's a great point as well. Uh, P-Man Van, there we go. P-Man Van actually sent me one of the stories. Uh, said bought, I bought a small amount just for the fun of it. P-Man Van is in Canada. So you let us know, P-Man, in the next couple months how that market is looking up there and if we miss anything. Uh, Blues Lover. Did you see did you see Bill Gates comment yesterday on Bitcoin? He's a dinosaur. I saw the Bill Gates headline yesterday. I honestly couldn't I didn't I, I didn't care enough. I wasn't invested enough to read the article, but I couldn't even tell if that was an old article and an old comment or was this him saying the same things in 2021 with Bitcoin at $53,000. Like seriously, that's the scary part and that's why I didn't even read into it. I did see the Bill Gates headline, but I truly thought they're pulling old comments from 2017, 2018. Now that you're confirming this is a brand new article, a brand new conversation, a brand new comment, I'm still not going to watch it because I already know that uh, Bill Gates is a multi-billionaire who has no interest in the crypto market because all his money is in fiat, as well as everything he knows is tied to the old guard and old way of doing things. Y'all here, you got Bill Gates, a private citizen who's supposed to be into technology, trying to give people medication in third world countries that him and his wife came up with in the bathtub. Uh, you know, somehow he's the leader on health pandemics and everything else. Like, look, Bill Gates was a software developer in his garage who made a lot of money doing it. Not saying he hasn't learned anything since then, but to run Microsoft took Bill Gates, which is why he ran Microsoft for so long. I mean, it's everything else, cryptocurrency, I could care less what Bill Gates says. Like, he's not making a billion dollars in crypto. He didn't make his billions in crypto. He didn't, you know, he hasn't done anything in crypto. So I could truly care less what Bill Gates said. Like, the only thing I care about when it comes to these billionaires are the whale watch alerts, is what their buys is, just like everybody else. If a whale comes in and says, yeah, I am planning to buy, for example, like, $3 billion of Dogecoin, right? To make it laughable. If they did come in and say that, then I will pay attention because I would say, okay, Doge will probably pump. I would look at it as a trader. But as far as their comments, come on, Blues, I'm not paying no attention to Bill Gates, all right? This guy, he's crazy. He's way past his prime, and he's definitely a, a in-house dino of the day. What's going on, Quarter Crawler? All right. Crypto is poor as hedge for drawdowns and equities, JP Morgan analyst says. That is right, as Bitcoins they would say. Uh, still talking about their bitter X, right? Again, it was in 2017 when Jamie the Dino Diamond came out for JP Morgan. The CEO of JP Morgan Chase came out and said that Bitcoin is a fraud. And since then, they have not been able to stop talking about it. Uh, today's top story from them is crypto is poor as hedge for drawdowns and equities. JP Morgan analyst said again, analysts bash Bitcoin despite JP Morgan co president Daniel Pinto claiming that Bitcoin adoption is inevitable at some point. Uh, it looks like they're arguing that not only is Bitcoin price uh, <laughs> much higher than its fair value at its current price, which is crazy for them to argue again because they called it a fraud when it was less, when it was like what, $7,000 they called it a fraud and dropped it to $3,000. And now that you're saying at $53,000, uh, it's much higher than its fair value. Sounds like FUD to me, people. It sounds like JP Morgan is trying to get you to sell your bags because they only make these statements when Bitcoin hits all-time highs. And since it keeps hitting the all-time high, you keep getting to see this yourself in real time. In a regular memo for investors, JP Morgan argued that cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are an economic sideshow uh, economic side show and the poorest hedge funds against a decline in equity prices. Reuters reports Friday. First thing I would say to JP Morgan analysts uh, is how do you know this with only 12 years of data? And two of those years now have been in a pandemic. So really all the new data we're getting is new data. So I'm not, again, this is what I said yesterday about TA. Don't get it twisted. There are a lot of 
analysts and genius and technical analysis and numbers and stuff and all they do is do all these charts and graphs and then they look at them and say how can i make this fit my narrative how can i make this uh, uh fit what i think crypto and whatever is going to do and i mean honestly everyone has a 50 50 chance of going up or down right but by and large this is what i was talking about yesterday is like this type of stuff the analyst said that the mainstream adoption of bitcoin increases its correlation with cyc cyclical assets which makes it a less attractive asset for portfolio diversification. I'm not going to read this little uh, tweet here or this uh, qu quote here, but essentially they wanted to give you a lot of words to confuse you with words about equities, questionable diversification benefits, uh, production costs, correlations with cyclical assets, uh, rising as crypto ownership is main. You get what I'm saying? They're trying to confuse you with words soup. Look, people, you want to talk about a hedge against equities? BNB is up 65% in one day. That is crypto. So I'm not sure what other hedge you expect to get where you can have something go up in 65% and, and something expectedly go up, right? We said yesterday we didn't think it would happen yesterday or we didn't think it would just keep pumping or whatever, uh, but the chances of people continuing to use BNB long term were there, right? So that to me sounds like a pretty good hedge against equities uh in my personal opinion but hey who am i i'm just a dumb retail investor uh again in january 2021 jp morgan strategist uh john norman and Frederico, uh i can't pronounce this guy last night argue that bitcoin has become a cyclical asset as opposed uh to a hedge against market stress again you can read more about this on uh coin telegraph they also mentioned one of their reports had like an 89 page report people in cryptocurrency when they're trying to give you 90 pages to read it's usually because they're trying to hide something like a lot of this stuff is cut and dry right now it's different if you're on the back end if you're doing the technical side of things and yeah you need to go to github and jump to those depositories uh or whatever i'm saying it wrong you know what i mean but as far as a 90 page report to tell me that bitcoin isn't the way to go against equities and i didn't even bring the story of the second story jp morgan dropped today as well was about tether about uh once people find out or people ever think that tether can back anything then the price of bitcoin would drop we've been talking about that for years to the point people are null to it this is the same as saying uh china owns all the bitcoin they're going to stop everything bitcoin from having it people already know that's not the truth the same with tether tether does not control the entire bitcoin market if tether goes down would bitcoin take a hit yes and then it will recover because tether does not dictate the bitcoin market so again jp morgan coming in hot today with a lot of fud uh of course when bitcoin is at an all-time high because they want you to sell it so they can buy it back up hopefully at this point at forty-eight thousand dollars, it looks like again i call it market manipulation the fact that they're allowed to say these things uh without any real evidence is they're literally just fake blanketed warrant unwarranted statements it's market manipulation on their part uh which is why i don't listen to the government i don't listen to the feds when they talk about market manipulation because they're not even uh regulating the people next door to them so it makes no sense <clears throat> let's see rashu said this is what the 25th time etf has been proposed right canada finally got two through now uh let's see what's going on quarter crawler fumble the face kb nyc jizzy matt uh crypto q what's going on please explain paper uh oh paper bitcoin again this is so hilarious exactly uh michael j the big folks are dealing in billions put a few zeros behind where your mind is uh phil g i saw the article about ripple xrp and cbdc's yesterday i saw that same article as well and listen ripple is moving forward like we are not getting sued by the sec we don't know what you guys are talking about it's business as usual uh let's see william justice said just another day in crypto that's right happy friday have a good weekend you too zuri 11 hey hey tim sullivan said why not uh what is not why not speak about how the wellers are also personally buying up bitcoin along the way using their corporate name as a shield of the real uh stuff they are doing behind the scenes grabbing up bitcoin that's true um p man van said get uh i'm assuming somebody basically stole apple's ideal I'm not sure who is that bill who's, who might have stole it uh kb nyc said him and his wife came oh uh, yeah came up with the vaccines in the bathtub yeah i'm not trusting no bill gates vaccine like sell me some software fool when did you get into the medicine business <laughs> portal pacific 
how high will bitcoin go today guys that's a good point how high will bitcoin go today uh any percent swing could i mean hey it could go up five or six thousand and go down five or six thousand with a small percent swing right uh let's see charles marshall hey he finally caught us live from barbados welcome 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 yes timothy greeks we said that just means they're buying uh yep they want to bring it down cheaper that is right you know jp morgan is a part of the game okay oh some people are saying they're guessing fifty five thousand dollar bitcoin by the end of today don't forget usually going into weekends the price does drop uh but since we have been on this bull run and this board tear we might see the price actually increase as people have more time this weekend to trade right uh so we shall see what happens all right 99 bitcoins bring uh breathes new life into dead coins project that is right the dead coins project has been given new lease of life by bitcoin education portal 99 bitcoins uh bitcoin education portal 99 bitcoins is a newly appointed undertaker of the cryptocurrency industry hey i will say 99 bitcoins when they do update their site it's a lot of great information on there uh or even when they don't update their site there's a lot of good evergreen crypto information in there that you might have to like you know you might have to read in between the lines and tinker a couple things because some of the articles may be older but by and large is a great resource for a lot of crypto stuff i remember uh looking at their site some years ago as well but of course during the bear market in 2018 2019 uh, a lot of people didn't update sites or go back to stuff 99 bitcoins is kind of one of them so it looks like they're back over there gearing everything back up to get to work and they took over the dead coins project which provides a burial ground for more than a thousand dead cryptocurrencies and breathe new life into the project by ensuring the list is accurate and by removing joke burials the only joke burial was the bitcoin one but to talk about other burials that they mentioned as jokes tron was put on that list dogecoin was put on that list and tether uh deadcoins.com was started in 2017 to document the demise of the hundreds of altcoins that materialized off the back of the ico boom that year and from what they're saying that uh the dead coins page the newly cleaned up dead coins page is reporting 1559 uh altcoin fatalities at the time of the writing people one more time 1559 altcoin projects have been listed as a dead project now to be clear it doesn't mean that they are dead usually uh these sites do do a good job though they don't see any community uh action going on there's no clear roadmap what's happening next so they can't get in touch with anyone then they usually mark it as a dead project but what we have seen in this space before is that after a couple years people forget about it blah, blah blah someone else comes along picks it up either pumps it or actually tries to make it into a real project but the most important thing out of all of this is to make sure i tell you all who think their projects the next big thing or the next bitcoin and who want to invest in it and not just trade it when we have all their heart and soul and emotions into it is that it may very well join this list of 1559 other dead altcoins at the time is right <clears throat> again here's this list you can see here updated 217 21 and you can just go down and check out all the different coins and i'm sure if i actually pay attention and go through the go through this list all day i'm sure i could find some coins in the top 10 or it used to be in the top 10 or 15 on this list because i have seen some of those coins die as well so you can see here the death indicators inactive development inactive twitter low volume not listed on exchanges website down uh same thing inactive twitter low volume not listed on exchanges inactive development uh not index website down so again over 1500 or not over but 1559 coins at the time of the writing uh people your project is probably not the next big thing okay and with that being said i know i am about to uh get the cardano army up in arms but gene simmons says he added three hundred thousand dollars of cardano to his bags oh my goodness people this is a sell signal to me i hate to say it. this is a bearish sentiment to me i hate seeing these articles kiss bastards gene simmons has again taken to twitter to shill his crypto holdings claiming to have now invested in cardano honestly if i was a celebrity celebrity you know out there gene simmons type kiss money and all this other stuff i wouldn't be promoting anything in the space uh we've seen saw already what happened 
uh, 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 I can't think of his name right now, running for president, CHOP 2020, uh, John McAbee, right? John McAbee's in trouble with the SEC now. I think they still got him locked up somewhere. Who knows? You know we had him on the show before. Uh, but John McAbee got in trouble for shilling coins on Twitter. So I'm kind of curious, how is it working where, you know, what, what exactly did he do wrong? And what are these other celebrities doing right, I guess, at this point? Because they're doing what looks to be the same thing. But again, the iconic bass, uh, bass player of rock band KISS uh, and recent recruit to Elon Musk's Dogecoin Army, Gene Simmons, has announced a six-figure investment into Cardano. On February 19, Simmons revealed on Twitter that he bought $300,000 worth of ADA while emphasizing that he is not a financial analyst, a helpful disclaimer. The rock star said he wanted to share projects he believes in and was definitely not suggesting anyone else should buy ADA. Okay, so that's how he's saying clear the SEC. Uh, here's the tweet. I just bought $300,000 of Cardano. I'm not a financial analyst. I'm not telling you to buy or not to buy. Simply letting you know what I am doing and what I believe in. Why? Because I believe it's going up and it's always up to you to research and decide. Um, this is why this is a, a bare sentiment to me. And I, I, I'm kind of joking. Independent of Gene Simmons, I'm sure the Cardano project will continue to pump in the short term because you have people like him uh, behind the project. But you notice he says, I, because I believe it's going up. <laughs> <laughs> is it something you know I don't know? Is it like, what's, is it something on the roadmap? Like, what makes you believe it's going up? So this is why this is a bear, a bear signal to me, like a sales signal. It's like, all right, a rich person with no money who clearly either someone within the Cardano organization or ancillary to it got a, get bit his ear and was like, this is the future or whatever. Um, and he decided to invest and he's telling you to do your own research. But it, in one line, he can't even tell you the main reason why he's going after. Hey, they're going to replace Ethereum doing this. Hey, the scaling on this is going to be different. Hey, the way they're doing acquisitions with this, like something is going to be different about the project or the project is doing this. But instead, it's just like because I believe it's going up. Well, again, when I see signals like this, I think of Snoop Doge. And literally when I saw that article, I was like, just ah, like get rid of this Dogecoin ASAP. And unfortunately, as much, I'm thinking the same thing with Cardano. The only reason I might not do it is because uh, it has been going up and down between two to five percent the last couple of days, and uh, depending on what happens with Bitcoin this weekend, all coins could see a nice little push uh, from some of this all-time high in the next few days. And I would hate to miss it, uh, as I've stayed in this long. But again, this type of thing is a sales signal to me, unfortunately. Um, look, wow, you guys are already making Cardano go up. Impressive. What he really meant to say is, wow, you guys are already making my investment go up. Impressive, right? That's pretty cool, Gene. Uh, but shout out for Gene Simmons, still part of the crypto world and uh, putting that out. As we say, this is still a basic. Who knows? Somebody might find out about, about Cardano, about Doge, about Bcash and some of these other coins and find their way over to Bitcoin as well. Uh, let's see. KBNYC said JP Morgan needs to find a bridge in the fastest way down. Uh, let's see. Josh, oh yeah, Michael J, Crypto Smoke and Mirrors, uh, William Justice, if you steal billions, it's really no big deal, just don't steal a loaf of bread, you know it. Uh, JP Morgan said, Crypto is fairy dust and crocodile tears. Listen, I sometimes think I'm the only one who remembers some of these comments they said. Fairy dust and crocodile tears, and now they're trying to tell you uh, how you should be looking at Bitcoin in the market. I tell you people, I love it. Uh, just like bad mortgage agreements, lots of wordy paperwork. That's what people got to understand. This, in this market, unless you're talking to a developer, you're talking to someone about the technical aspects of a project. Everything should be cut and dry. It should be very simple. It should not be confusing. Um, again, if you're talking about the technical side of things, then yeah, you're going to hear a lot of new words, a lot of new verbiage, and a lot of new things you never heard. But if you're just talking about, uh, especially on the investing side, when you're talking about retail and even credit and institutional investors who don't know what's going on in this space, there shouldn't be any big words, like really. Uh, Blues Lover said, which two-factor authentication do you uh, suggest? Yes, the same ones I had in that article a couple years ago. So Duo, uh, Authy, and uh, uh, Google Authenticator. I'll still suggest those. Uh, let's see. William Justice says, Simmons isn't even his real last name. Nothing trustworthy there. Uh, let's see. Time to dump that ADA, right? Government contracts don't equal money. That's a good point as well, too. 
Uh, Phil G, ADA on business, bro. It looks like uh, Cardano is doing the same Ripple playbook we saw in 2017. This is exactly the same Ripple playbook. And if they do it the correct way, as Ripple did, we could see Cardano go to $3 some change. I think one of their co-founders some would sell a bunch of it. Uh, and then two or three years from now, when the next Cardano is out and another Cardano is a dead coin, people will be saying, oh, this is the next big one. It's only at 80 cent. It can do it, whatever it did, right? Who knows? Who knows? There we go. Marcellus Love said, I'll buy y'all Cardano. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, Tennessee Stacker says, still bullish on Cardano, but I sold half my position. Yeah, maybe I should be clear with that. Uh, I would say take profit rather than just exit the position, people. Uh, all right. I know you saw that next article pop up. Have to talk about this. Acoin rolled out in $2 billion medical um, metropolis in Kenya. So I'm going to give you a, one of these claps, Acon. I'm going to give you one of these claps. Here's the thing. Here's the thing, folks. I will give it to Akon in, in the regards that, hey, no matter how I'm getting this interest to these places in Africa, I'm getting money and interest there. So seriously, on a serious note, hand clap for that. Because no matter how he's doing it, he's, you know, he did electricity, the electricity deal. Uh, but for those who know like kind of the details of that deal, he's dealing with a lot of players, let's just say that. Uh, and he's doing this crypto deal again. Uh, it's definitely gonna be good for him, better than just everyone else. He's done with a lot of players, but at least he's bringing crypto to them. So I'll consider this a base hit and I will clap for that. Now, where I wanna bring it down to reality at, let's talk about Acoin. Let's talk about Acoin. When do we first hear of Acoin? In the 2017 bear, or us bull market is when we first heard of Acoin. When Bitcoin prices were pumping the way they're pumping now, we heard of Acoin. And the thing we told people then, as I'm going to tell you now, is whenever a cryptocurrency project that says they're for the people come, comes out and is renamed after someone who works at the project, I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I mean, in 2017, we had so many people try to shoot us ICO ideals, and over half of them were from the person's name. And we were just like, all right, we're going to launch an ICO with a token with your name, and it's going to be so much different, and you're the first person to tell us that this month. Like, really? Like, we wouldn't even tell people that, but now three, four years later, I'll tell you. It's like, that was literally the way we were looking at all these brilliant ideals. It's like, okay, another person who wants to have an ICO with their name on the token. I wonder why. When Akon came out with it, I said the same thing then. Okay, he said it's for the people and all this. Why does his name need to be on it? Why does a name matter if it's really for all the people? It's because it's not just for that. Uh, but again, this is Akon's Acoin cryptocurrency is set to become the exclusive cryptocurrency of the Mawale Medical and Technology City in Kenya. Uh, the crypto project developed by Singalese, I can't say that word right now, you know Akon, has completed the pilot rollout stage of its deployment in the Mawale Medical and Technology City complex in Kenya. Um, as previously reported on Cointelegraph, the trial for, uh, phase was launched back in November 2020 at the time of the Acoin a listing on the Bittrex crypto exchange. Uh, you know how I feel about shit tracks, so there's that. Uh, following the success of the initial pilot, the Acoin crypto is now ready for full deployment in the $2 billion complex in July. So again, November 2020 is when this was launched, when we knew institutions. Uh, Michael Saylor had already came out and said he made his buy in August. I think he said that in September. Uh, after that, you had other companies jump on board. So my whole point is, the only time I'm hearing about this project is when the price of Bitcoin is pumping. <laughs> we didn't cover this project like during the two-year bear cycle. So red flag number one uh, is the A-coin. You named it after yourself. Red flag number two is that I didn't hear anything during the bear market, but all of a sudden as the price of Bitcoin pumps, you're there. And red flag number three is something I mentioned when this project first came out. I'll just let you look at this next page. And, and for those who are listening, I'm about to bring up the Acoin team. Again, this is a project uh, supposed to be specifically for people of the African continent. As you can see here, he's talking about Kenya, right? It'd be different if he's talking about South Africa, uh, but he's talking about Kenya. So let's look at this project team and what Acoin plans, of course, partnering with Bittrex Global, plans to bring, he literally has a Bittrex partnership on the top of the, uh, <laughs> of the uh, page. Let's see what his team looks like. Of course, you got Akon right here. All right. 
Grammy nominated multi platinum selling artist. Not sure what any of that has to do with the cryptocurrency, but whatever. That's cool to see. And here's his team for a a coin African coin project token uh, to the people throughout the continent of Africa and right now can this is his team this is his team let's go ahead and scroll down I'm not even gonna say these look at his team and for those listening uh, there's only one other person on his oh, excuse me there's two other people on this team of about uh, let's say roughly 20 people who look like Akon for Africa like come on I said this when it first came out and I saw the original team. This is a money deal. Like, what? Are you kidding me? Hey, Akon, multi-platinum Grammy selling just got the electricity done. We can give you your own coin with your own name. It's already done. Actually, just sign on a dot line. You get your 20% tokens or whatever it is that's saved for the founders. We'll pump this bad boy up. All we need is a couple of bull runs, get a hospital accepted, and we're on our way. Did you just see that team? Why is no one from Kenya on that team? Or is someone okay? I don't know. I didn't even look at the names. I looked at, listen, I'll be honest. I looked at the races. We're talking about, I mean, if I told you, if I showed you a team for a Russian project and it was a bunch of uh, people who look like me uh, that came from Detroit on there, would you be like, oh, this looks like a good Russian project I'm going to invest in? Like, no, it doesn't look like that, right? Uh, if I showed you uh, what was supposed to be an American project, and it looked like everybody was wearing what maybe Islanders would wear or something, right? Like like native Islanders. You'd be like, eh, that don't really look like an American project to me. So that's all I'm saying. Those people could be legitimate. You can do your own research, as we always say. But just looking at the pictures, looking at the fact that he renamed the project or he named the project out of his name, uh, and looking at the fact that I only hear about during the uh, bull cycle, I'm sorry. That's a bay. Yeah, Michael J. That's a hell to know for me. And no, I'm not disparaging Akon because at the end of the day, whatever the project is, whether it's a money grab or a real project, same thing with electricity. At least you're helping people. You are bringing cryptocurrency to them and you're awakening them to crypto and other means of banking. So hand clap for that. But as far as like me thinking it's a real project or telling people, hey, get that Acoin token. Come on, man. Look, I see the play. I'm not even mad at you. You're a great businessman, so I am not mad at you. But since we talk about the news and you made the news, I would suggest you keep going on with that project without making the news. So we wouldn't have to mention it. Ryan Cooper said, and it's Black History Month. You get what I'm saying, people? You talk about, like, Akon isn't stupid. Have you seen this guy talk? Great businessman. I mean, he brought electricity to a sub-Saharan part of Africa. Like, great businessman. Uh, but yeah, for him to do this during Black History Month, Doing a bull cycle. Come on, he is playing all into uh, the market psychology and sentiment and trader psychology. Like he is doing, oh, Black History Month, this is a great way. Listen, not I'm not messing with it. And I see some of the commenters are saying, LOL. Adam Laurie said, okay, I'm out. Uh, Erica K said, money grab, I ain't mad. Yeah, nobody's mad. Look, nobody's mad at him. We just got to see it for what it is. Uh, okay, Aiden McGuire, I'm glad you brought that up. Let's talk about it. Uh, Aiden said, has Binance crashed for anyone else? I don't know about Binance, but right now, again, uh, oh, yeah, the BNB coin. Same playbook, people. Everything that's pumping right now, you won't be able to get your hands on it. Trade it or sell it uh, both ways. It's kind of difficult. And I think the BNB uh, Binance was going through some things earlier. Also, you have to remember is when coins like that uh, pump all-time highs and everything, people are trying to hack them. People would definitely try to hack them. So if their network's under maintenance or their website's under maintenance, yeah, this is what usually happens at all-time highs, which is why sometimes it's hard to actually trade in and out of things when they get like this. Uh, hilarious. Ruben Perez says the Acoin team looks like a record management company. You get what I'm saying? I mean, for one, who on their team decided like the first line of his bio to talk about his music career would be a good idea? That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. <laughs> All uh, right, a couple of comments right here. Uh, crypto culture said winter, wider shade of pale. You know what I mean? It's, it's very interesting. Uh, Jow Boy, uh, Devosi, what's going on? Uh, Ryan Cooper said everything that pumps must unpump. That's actually true as well. Woo! Edwin IT said bought BNB at $2 in 2017 by accident. Best mistake ever, ever. I did too, and then I sold it thinking, hey, it won't go that high that quick, right? Yeah, right. I got that one wrong. All right. 
last but not least Port portuguese power company to accept bitcoin for electricity bills that's right some portuguese portuguese i can't say that word right now some portuguese residents will reportedly be able to pay for electricity and bitcoin starting from february Woo! this is it people listen bullish sentiment here i love it um and you better believe this is going to set precedent if you don't think every other electricity company around the world is like oh okay how y'all doing it like how are you onboarding it how are you converting it to cash how is this working i think everyone's going to pay attention to this in the industry um excuse me in the electricity sector uh lasbo 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 a small energy trading company in portugal will soon start accepting bitcoin as payment for electricity the company's president pedro Moraes lieto announced the news to portuguese publication expresso on wednesday stating that the new payment option should become available this month again want to point this out we always say this when they talk about things that are going to unroll they already have them which is why he made the announcement and he like oh yeah we'll probably have it out next week and a half right why because we already have it we've already been working on it there is no business in his right mind except us for example who usually announces things before they have it all ready to roll out um but usually businesses who are have all they shit together they don't do it and as you can see here as they announce it they're like yes this thing is already just about ready according to executive uh Luz Bowl will create a bitcoin wallet in the coming days allowing residents to pay for electricity under a new payment system known as bitspot something else we never thought about what if we actually rename our entire payment systems like this new way to pay for electricity is going to be called bitspot that's pretty cool they just renamed it uh, according to lieto the firm plans to instantly convert receive bitcoin into euros to protect its business from unstable prices we are aware of cryptocurrency or we are aware of currency uh, volatility but we are prepared to take some risk as zach said you're not taking any risk if you're actually converting it which i don't think they'll convert it all i think they're just telling people that uh but if you were to convert it all then you're not actually taking any risk i don't think people still don't understand that about the market and point of sale machines if you decide to accept bitcoin for your company unless you get that federal tap on the shoulder there are no risks especially if you're switch or especially if you're switching over to fiat and in this case they are so they're taking it in crypto and they're switching to fiat you literally have a 10 minute window of risk so i wouldn't really say that's a lot of risk there uh leah told explained that the main idea of the initiative was to capture a niche market rather than make its customers move into bitcoin payments there's a new generation with an interest in cryptocurrencies we are looking to give an opportunity to use new means of payment to me that's how cut and dry and simple it is and i don't get again why all the, well i do get it because we're taking away from their money we're taking away from their plate but let's say we weren't or whatever i don't understand why institutions and everybody are so scared to talk about bitcoin cryptocurrency or accept it like it's some dirty bad thing it's just a new way to pay for things that people believe in so what if you don't believe in it that's okay maybe the 10 year old or 15 year old next door does and they want to buy something from you all you have to do is push a little button on the device and then instantly as soon as you get what you consider junk that they consider valuable it'll transfer it to something valuable for you so again there's literally no argument as to why you should not accept bitcoin it makes zero sense not to accept it except to say you're probably too emotional uh and if you're too emotional about software then i am seriously scared to know what else you get really emotional about uh because again this is just software this is a protocol this is this is you all screaming at the at sign uh in the late 90s talking about you don't want to email people and what the hell is an at mark on good morning america this is the same conversation so just want to make sure i point that out all right last few comments before i get out of here william justice was going on said william Justice, said, i'm having a blast for sure uh here let me scroll up i see a bunch of lols happening so let me scroll up Woo, 200 viewers here we go make sure you smash that like and share thank you uh bit boy rec said james doe ruben perez says senior democrat officials proposing a three trillion dollar job and infrastructure package on top of a 1.9 trillion biden COVID stimulus bill to me that sounds like a five hundred thousand dollar bitcoin in the year 2022 if not 2021 depending on when that gets released uh is the bnb the same bnb on both.com and us it should be yes i think it is but i don't use the binance.us so don't quote me on that ryan uh let's see 
James O said lost all his promo money from this month and won 100 times trade. Uh, that's right. Tim Sullivan, let's keep it real. The U.S. would like to stimulate the market. Send those stimulus checks out in crypto. Help the people. You already know it. Uh, let's see. Look, everybody's laughing. A lot of people said they're still holding Cardano. Marcellus Edwin IT said they're still holding solid. I am too, but it upset me to see uh, Gene Simmons. All right. Maybe I, I, I got a little hyperbole this morning. All right. Uh, Les Square said, is there, is there any fee when you change over exchange from Coinbase to Binance? How fast does that happen? <clears throat> so when you're sending your Bitcoin in general, there will always be that transaction fee that the miners have to pay. It is a very small fee, so it shouldn't be that much money. Uh, but the exchange fee itself, again, I haven't been on Coinbase in years. You will have to check that structure out. I'm assuming they're probably going to add an additional 3.54% to it, especially right now during an all-time high. But it still should be, you know, it should be minuscule in the sense of the amount you're doing it. And as far as how long it's going to take, uh, it could take 10 minutes to 30 minutes uh, the, if the network's not backed up. Crypto Culture said, uh, let me see. Oh, just scroll down. BitBoy, a millionaire off of dumb noobs. I can't even hate on this hustle. His family's eating well now. Oh, you're talking about BitBoy. Okay. Uh, James Osa, I'm looking at paying with Bitcoin. It's usually 20% higher than the actual credit card price. Uh, my Ninja said, imagine paying your credit card bill or your electric bill in gold. Nope. Hilarious. Uh, when are we going to get this gem in a crypto NFT going, fam? ERC1155. That is a great idea. We need to actually make everyone in the space of NFT. That would be pretty fun. Uh, let's see. I see a couple last good comments. S1 Dubs. Where is that at? S1 Dubs has said, let's see, or Asset Mondo said, help other people with your doge. Definitely, this is our initiatives to make this coin huge pump. I don't think anybody on our show is going to send you some doge, but if someone's nice enough today, we'll see what happens, I guess. Uh, above promotions company said i'm too emotional to give up bitcoin for a consumer good lol uh p man vance i recently saw bitcoin drop 1k in like one minute recently so possible risk then again just hang on to it for a bit and actually make money right okay so i get what you're saying um but again that's kind of like dollar cost averaging people so over you have to you can't just do it for that one 10 minute period you have to say okay over a span of 24 hours if I have, let's say I'm in business eight hours a day, if I have eight hours nonstop of customers coming in and out, is it volatile to the point you're losing that much money when it converts it? And again, even if it's after a minute, the next question would be, okay, how quickly does it convert it, right? Is it an instantaneous conversion? If it is, then again, I don't think it's that much of a risk. Uh, or is it one of those things where, hey, it takes a few minutes to convert, then you're right, we might be looking at something. I understand what you're saying. Uh, S1 Dove said converting received Bitcoin into euros to protect his business from unstable prices. Huh? I wouldn't be surprised they have no intention of converting those Bitcoin. Exactly. I don't see them converting to Bitcoin myself either. And last but not least, thank you, Ruben, for the tip. Ruben said, you are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And with all of that, yes, Alec G just said we topped out at 250 live. I'm getting off the live stream with that being said. We're at 250 people make sure you click that like and share if you don't mind be on the lookout uh we were supposed to launch our new show sunday but bitcoin day is running around in every direction people are pulling them every direction so uh be on the lookout for that we'll definitely put the announcements out there but worst case scenario we will be back monday with some more crypto news cheers and have a great